disclaimer, I've had two drinks. I'm working on the third one. Because it's been a hell of a week. It's been one of those weeks. And I just need something to really calm me down. We're going to jump right into it. So y'all know how we do this. I talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV. Now today, my hair is looking a little rough. So we're going to try to do some type of style. Okay, that's a lie. We're going to... um. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and just section my hair off and twist my hair in large twists. Now, we have a lot going on, so let's just jump right into it. Personal life, you guys, those of you who don't know, <clears throat> my child has ADHD and he started taking Adderall. It's been a year now. Um. Yeah, I can't even separate this. Look at this. I know. I need to wash my hair, but we'll talk about what I'm, why I'm not going to wash it now. Good Lord. So, <clears throat> there's an Adderall shortage. It's nationwide. It's not just here in Dallas. It's nationwide. And with Adderall, because I believe it's a Class C drug, and my doctor, literally, I have to call in every month for the refill for JB. It's not like I have like a six-month supply. I have to call the doctor's office every month for them to send the refill to the pharmacy. And it's so annoying. But what's the point, girl? With the shortage, I was told that Walgreens didn't have it. And then the pharmacy at my local Brookshire's, he said they only had 15 of them. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Because school starts in two weeks. Now, granted, he is absolutely driving me crazy in the mornings. I mean, and what I mean by that is that it's nonstop talking. JB doesn't, it, it's not, as soon as my baby gets up, there's like a 10 minute like waking up and he is on it. He is completely high energy until he goes to sleep. <clears throat> so during the summertime, honestly, I've tried to, you know, lay off on it, but that's not good either because you want to make sure that they're taking it con con consistently. So last week I bought this Dr. Till's melatonin take your ass to sleep spray so it's basically with chamomile and lavender oil and i've always heard great things about it right and we also use their um their bath salts and stuff by dr tills okay so i got this from like walmart less than five bucks spray 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 i did spray a lot i probably did one or two out in the open and then i lightly sprayed the bedding because i wasn't sure how we would react to it let me tell you something while I was spraying it, I was getting like, granted, I had like an edible, <laughs> but while I was spraying it, I was like, ooh. <sighs> Three days later of me spraying it, my husband is like, I don't think it's working. I'm like, well, hell, <laughs> it seems to be. So for my husband and I, we fall into a deep sleep and we're good, especially for me, it helps me because I'm a type of person that wakes up multiple times in the night to the point to where my doctor at one point was considering having me go through a sleep therapy or you know and I was like no I'll go to sleep but with this I stay asleep and I go to sleep early so child there was one day when I was using that <clears throat> and I went in here in the bedroom excuse me and I just fell asleep while watching TV and I was literally asleep for two about two hours straight and I go I creep into the living room thinking that everybody else is knocked out and I hear Jamie saying she's coming she's coming I'm like who is she oh y'all talking about me I'm coming so long story short girl I'm the only one that this really, <laughs> I'm so damn mad. I'm the only one that this seems to really affect. My husband said he doesn't think it works. I'm like, well, you need to drink it. My husband doesn't seem to think it works. JB is like, nice try, mama. Child, so I need for JB to get back on track. School starts, like I said, in two weeks. And this child is up too late. And so this is a birthday month, you know. And I'm pretty sure y'all have it too in your family. So in my family, August and February is when all the birthdays or or like everyone has birthdays, right? So y'all let me know what the months are for you and your family. 
so in um, well let's go february in february it's my mom and my sister we're gonna talk about the the, the nieces and stuff because <laughs> But in August, it's me, my daddy, a couple of uncles, a couple of friends, including a really good friend. The only friend I invited to my wedding was Wanda. My husband is the day after me. And my first niece is all in August. And I will say this too. This, not that. I, I think there's something to it when it comes to numbers and astrology but i don't want to go down that road because that stuff kind of intimidates me and scares me honestly but ironically speaking some of the past guys that i talked to like a, a couple of them were august birthdays including my husband who was like the day after me isn't that funny but i don't want to dwell on that because i'm married now but i just find that very 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 ironic so my birthday is coming up on the 11th my daddy's birthday is today, which is the second. My niece's birthday was yesterday. I forgot to call her. Sorry, Shia. Um, my husband's birthday is on the 12th. It's our birthday. So I decided to go to East Texas to have time with my family. I took off the entire week of August. Excuse me, the entire week um, next week off of work. And yeah, just to really, really to relax and be with my family. So that is personal life you guys um i think i'm twisting too much i'm not liking this and look how long does it typically take you guys to detangle because i'm still it's funny but i'm still in some natural hair groups on youtube no no i'm still in some natural hair groups on facebook and someone asked this, I believe it was the administrator, asked recently, how long does it take to detangle? I was saying, you know, comments like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. Who are you people? Like, look how, look how bad, how I'm, I'm struggling just to section off my hair. For an actual really good detangle, it takes me minimum two hours. A good one, three to four hours. Two hours. Two to three hours. And I know here soon, I'm really going to have to take the time because I've been doing really quick detangling, meaning like 45 minutes. I'm not really getting everything out, um, which is something else. And by the way, I was kind of interested in having my hair flat ironed and it get like a nice silk press blowout. <sighs> the person that, I'm not, I don't know what is up with these new stylists. I don't know. Y'all let me know. But she was basically like, come with your, your hair already detangled. If you don't come with your hair already detangled, that's an additional $75. I'm like, what? And then, of course, she's going to charge for density, which... So for me, when I added everything to the cart, my flat iron, flat iron, excuse me, was going to be almost $300. And I'm like, you know what? I don't even know how it's going to turn out. And you already going to charge me $300 for, I can't, I can't. So y'all, that's crazy to me how, and I have seen comments about this before with the stylists nowadays want you to come with your hair already detangled with you know already washed and i'm like that's why i'm coming to you because i want you i'm looking for the tlc for my hair anyway y'all okay what i'm watching on youtube not a lot before we get into that um this is really sad there were a lot of deaths that occurred this week there was someone from a young gentleman and I, I'm so sorry I neglect his name I will have it in the in the comments not the comments but here on the screen so he played in Europhia Europhia is that how you pronounce it it's actually a, a series that I've been wanting to watch I just never had the time to watch it he was very young I believe like 25 for what I understand he had a family member that passed recently he was probably trying to cope with everything there hasn't been any you know additional details but it seems like it's probably OD he OD'd it is really really sad that's that's very very sad um Pee Wee Herman 
You guys, there's not a lot of people that celebrities that I follow on Instagram or social media in general, but Pee Wee Herman is one of those people that I did follow. He was apparently, he has, he had cancer and he's, and he had it for six years and just, that's just so, so sad. Um, he was up there. I think he was close to, was he close to 70? And so sad. So rest in peace to him. He passed away. Um... Not really much else, you guys, that I'm watching on YouTube. I look at Leia Gardone every now and then. She does, you know, the, the videos on African-American women that have passed away or that are missing. Of course, I have my true crime videos that I watch still to this day. And I'm still on Betty Broderick. <laughs> Crazy. But uh, besides that, not really much on YouTube. There was somebody I wanted to bring up. Oh, the Sam Samantha with the premature gray hair, but I can't remember what country she's in. But one thing I was going to say is that I absolutely adore her silent vlogs. They are so soothing to me. I know that she's not getting a lot of traction for that, but I really do like them. I do. And so I, I don't mind at all you know, to look at, I actually watched all of them because they were so soothing and the cinematography, I mean, everything about them, I really did enjoy it. Yeah, I'm just pushing this, pulling this up some. I'll probably use some bobby pins here in a minute. So, let's jump right into what I'm watching on TV or what I'm watching on Netflix, Hulu, on um, videos, Netflix, Hulu, all of that. Y'all, my lips. There is a series that I saw a trailer for on, on YouTube, actually, and it's on Paramount Plus. Spirit, school, school spirits, school spirit, school spirit. It is not what you think it is. Let me tell you something. This is one of those series that I was, it was a little slow starting. And by the fourth or fifth one, I'm like, oh, the last two to three episodes were amazing. Matter of fact, I had to watch, and I did mention this in my community post, excuse me, that I had to watch the last episode twice because I was like, what just happened? So basically what the series is about is a high school where there are ghosts. And if you have passed away at the school, you're stuck there. Or you're from the school, you're stuck there. And so there's a young woman who is, you know, she's passed away and she is getting the help from the other spirits to help solve her murder. But it's not what you expect, okay? Very, very good. Again, it's on um, Paramount Plus. This is cute, huh, girl? This is cute. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.